Greetings, Spencer. So, this is going to be more of a showcase first impressions of a new jacket uh, that can be found in Canada from swordshop.ca. So, new store opening up. Uh, I got to get these two jackets a little bit early, bought them from them, and got to test them out just a couple times. But, it's a new jacket, wanted to share my thoughts on them uh, in case you're interested on them. So, these jackets are made to his design, I believe, from a manufacturer in China, and it is a very nice jacket. So, disclaimer, I guess, I use an AP light. So, to me, anything that's a padded jacket is a heavy jacket. So, I use something that's pretty much just like a sweater. And all the standard jackets, like an FG Pro that I have here, are just things I really haven't used in a long time. I use jackets with foam inserts. This jacket was the first one that I felt, oh, it's actually something that I could see myself using if I didn't have access to a light jacket at the moment. Even though it's barely been used, immediately I already have broken in arms where I could get to every position effortlessly. So the arm motion is already broken in, which I was extremely surprised by. That really wasn't something I was expecting. I expected at least a long break in period uh, for the shoulders of you know maybe a couple months. But day one already, I could go into aux on either side and was usable for any action that I wanted to do in fencing. So it did not prohibit any action. I remember my break-in period for the FG Pro was a couple months and there would even be times where I would wear it for a bit of the training session and then I'd switch to one of my broken-in jackets which would be an FG Basic. It also has quite a wide neck area uh, and collar. That's probably the only thing that you notice is something that needs to get broken in is that over time you'd eventually soften up this collar when you're wearing a mask um, at the beginning. Obviously just like every jacket it's a stiff collar that kind of pushes on your chin as you're wearing the fencing mask. So that's something that over the next couple months sort of softens down but at least for me with my height I wear mediums. It's not prohibiting at the beginning. So the protection is also really nice because it has just a little bit more increased padding on the shoulders. Someone with bony shoulders, as someone with bony shoulders, this is really helpful. Uh, I wear plates sometimes uh, on my jackets. The chest is great. You're not really going to feel thrust. The double layer and the padding goes all the way to the sides. Forearms are extremely light padded and they also leave about three inches unpadded at the wrist which is great so it's not going to interfere with your jackets anywhere near as much or your forearm uh, glove cuff and most importantly for the design it just has at the back a huge section of vent so having this vent on the back is definitely a huge step in making this jacket feel pretty light it's only a little bit heavier than my EP Light, and it is significantly lighter than the FG Pro. I mean significantly. There really isn't any comparison. This, I can do whatever I want. This still feels like a giant canvas in that weighs you down and pulls your shoulders to the ground. So, mobility was great. Protection, great. Why isn't it uh, my standard jacket? Well, I use a light jacket. I'm used to not even sweating unless I'm doing hard sparring. So, a jacket like this, you are getting hotter than a light jacket ju that just has foam inserts. So, uh, when I was training, I was starting to get hot even when just doing drills for someone else uh, practicing on me. So, it is something that I probably won't get much use out of. I bought these two jackets for people in the club, but in situations where I let people borrow my jackets, and there's no light jackets, this would definitely be the first jacket that I would grab if I had to grab a heavy padded jacket. And most importantly, it's only 150 Canadian, which kind of makes it so it has no comparison. Most other jackets are going to be around 300 Canadian, so you're going to get a jacket with better mobility out of the box at half the price. Unless you're looking for a light jacket, this is sort of the, choice, the, the best choice for in Canada. Um, there's really nothing else that you'd
be better off getting, especially if you're starting out in HEMA and you don't know what you like. And if you're looking for an in-depth review of different types of jackets, well, you can see, I think it'll be this side, you can see uh, my five HEMA jackets review video there, as well as our review on the two AP Lite versions. So, this jacket, I think, has really everything you'd want in a heavily padded jacket. It has a thought-out forearm, it has thought-out shoulders, it has a thought-out back. Everything's really been chosen by someone who's doing a lot of fencing and wants the best jacket, and then it's half the price. You just really can't beat that. Unless you really want something that you don't get hot in. Because even just standing here talking about this, I start overheating because I'm used to a jacket like this where, I mean, this is cooler than my sweater. So, it does excite me for what other things might be brought to swordshop.ca and if you're someone who's wanting a thickly padded jacket, this is definitely going to be a good one to take a look at. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing.